Hi, first grade. For this project, we're going to make this fun fox for spring. I'm going to show you how to do this fox. I'm going to use a smaller piece of paper so you can see the whole thing. Um, you can use any size paper that you want. You can make yours big, you can make it small, and you'll be able to color it with whatever materials you have at home. For this example, I used crayon outline on everything, even the ground. I even added some um, crayon dash marks to add some texture in the grass. Um, and I colored the whole fox with crayon too. And then I used watercolor in the background. You don't have to color it that way. Again, you could use markers, crayons, color pencils, whatever you have at home to color your fox. All right, I'm gonna show you how to draw this fox. Again, I'm using a smaller piece of paper just so that you can see the whole thing. Um, and you can use any size paper that you want. I'm gonna draw with a marker, uh, but I recommend that you guys draw with pencil. It's just hard for you to see the pencil if I draw with pencil on here. So I'm gonna use marker, but if I make a mistake, I can't erase, right? So I'm gonna take my time and just do my best. Towards the top of my, my page, I'm gonna make a line that curves across. Now, I don't wanna be right up at the top because then I won't have room for his ears. So I'm gonna come down just a little bit and I'm gonna make my line and it just curves just a little bit, okay? Then I'm gonna come down and make my circle nose and connect the top of the head down to the nose with a little curved line. Then I can make triangle ears on top. I add two little circle eyes. You can color those in black. You don't have to do that part now. Now for the design on the face, I'm gonna go from the nose Curve up over the eye and to the side of the face. I'm going to do it on the other side. Up over the eye and to the side of the face. Then I'm going to make the body by curving down almost to the bottom of the page and all the way back up. So here I go. I'm going to come down, curve like a U all the way back up. I'm going to make a line across the belly so I can leave the belly white and color the top part. I'm going to make two ovals or circles at the bottom for the paws because it's sitting down and then just have the legs come up making two lines for each leg. Now, whichever side you have more room on is where I would put the big fluffy tail. On my big one, I put it on this side, but I think I have more room over here, so I'm gonna put it on this side this time. I'm gonna make a line that curves out towards the edge of my paper, and then I'm gonna come down from that point and curve and connect at the bottom. I'm gonna use a zigzag line to make the design on the tail. And it doesn't have to be even zigzags either. Then to make the horizon line, the line where the sky stops and the ground begins, I'm going to make a line that stops because I don't want to draw over top of my Fox, I'm going to start again on the other side and continue. And that is how you draw your fox. Okay, I'm going to put this back up here. You can color yours however you want if you want to make it look with realistic colors or if you want it to be a rainbow fox. It's completely up to you. I hope you have fun making your adorable spring fox. 
and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a great day. Bye.